There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with an hour time limit and record it live. This is the result. Oracle Software. Oh, you wouldn't be able to get away with that name nowadays. Presents Earth Invasion. From 1993. A game from 1993 with PC speaker. I'm guessing this is not a big budget title. I think this is maybe one guy with a little help. Eric Butin, who spelt design wrong, and Christian Butin, who is presumably a relative. Okay. Uh, oh wow, this is retro even by this time. So we got high scores. Construction Bob is clearly in the lead, as expected. Uh, we've got options for a ship, which is just, you know, the option board, as they call it. Okay. Read this. Oh, it's, a, it's an actual manual. That's nice. So, let's start our mission, shall we? I am... Z Food Plasfok, Emperor of the Yanchus, and Overlord of most of the universe, thanks to the Primer. As you know, the Empire of Yanchus has expan have expanded to all the known universes, but there is one race that refuse to be enslaved and are still fighting back. Of course, it's the humans. You've been chosen as our worst fighter pilot to open the road for us. You will make a suicidal attack to clean the path for our destroyers. I value each of those much more than your stupid life, so be careful. Your ship has been equipped with one single 34 cranium cannon and 30... Oh, wow, these guys love their weird names. The humans are expecting you. We told them you would come, so they have a better chance of killing you. Thanks! Thanks to that! If you succeed, you will keep your job. And if you fail, as I expect you will, then the humans will have done the job of killing you for us. Any questions? Now go and do not fail. You will receive further informations once aboard your ship. As you leave planet Zankula, you suddenly get the feeling that your life... No! Okay, incoming transmission. Press button. I have pressed a button. Your first mission is simple. You must destroy all human ships in the Shizaz system. Very little resistance is expected from the humans. We detected some small fighters and a Boeing class destroyer. If you do not succeed this mission, don't expect us to pick you up. Gosh, this guy is really helpful. He has been a massive pain the whole time, but I guess it's understandable because he's, you know, ruler of most of the universe. Oh god, what are the controls? Um, any controls? Con con control. All oh, right, so we've got we've got alt to shoot, control to go one way. Uh, shift to go up. Right. Okay. Uh, terrible controls, but uh, we'll make do. Eat my lead. That's right, I killed you. Engaging Mega Trash Accelerator. Ship detected. Oh no, another ship. And uh, when you shoot, you go down the screen slightly. So it's a good way of quickly, you know, moving down the screen. Okay, and we've got our mission stage indicator at the bottom. And I think we've got a slightly tongue-in-cheek approach here. I don't think these guys were serious when they made this game. Uh, it, it seems a bit jokey, especially the way the Emperor was uh, talking to us with such disdain and calling us stupid. So your lasers only have a certain uh, range. And those look uh, suspiciously like X-Wings. You've got power-ups to sort you out a bit. Oh, we, d we dealt with the problem. Okay, cool. So, 
that's our first mission pretty much over, right? I'm, I'm not happy about pressing control and alt at the same time, that's for sure. <laughs> that, that could end badly. This could uh, prematurely end. Those seem to be the only power-ups. Okay. So, I've been picking DOS games at random. Oh! My god, it's a boss. Oh, that, that... They're homing, sort of. Yeah, this is... I made it! After destroying all humans in the system, you come back to your home destroyer for a little rest. Well earned, I think. No time bonus. Okay. Sweet. Incoming transmission again. Let's do it. Mission two. Your second mission is to eliminate all humans from the Clarmarsh system. There will be the jump point for your departure to the Ponge system. Little resistance expected, but somewhat heavier than your first mission. Some small fighters have been detected, and a Boeing class destroyer. This mission is very important, so don't fail. Yeah, maybe we can win him over with our mega trash accelerator. Okay, ship detected. Let's blow it out of the water. So the uh, the health damage is persistent. So if you really messed up your ship in the uh, previous mission, you're in trouble. There we are. So that's been dealt with. Let's head on to the next stage. There's no real sound to determine whether you've you've hit a shot or anything. And there seems to be some sort of delay between your ability to shoot. So uh, that's a thing. And as as you can expect, the game speeds up slightly when it's just one on one like that. We're doing okay. We're we're doing all right. Uh, we've got a decent score. And here's a new ship to, to pester us. It's slightly harder than the previous one. But, I mean, it's, it's just a case of peppering shots, making sure you hit the power-ups. And all the power-ups seem to be the same, so it's not too bad. Uh, two of them now. Okay. Double trouble. But, I mean, if they line up like that, then any wayward shot... I'm, I mean, it's just going to hit the other one, isn't it? And the power-ups are numerous, so uh, so long as you keep firing shots at the, the basic mobs and hitting the power-ups, it's fine. I mean, this this isn't much of a challenge so far, you know? Especially compared to the the last two shoot 'em ups That's what I meant to say, you know, I've been picking games at random, and I managed to hit three shoot 'em ups of sorts in a row. I mean, I didn't realize they were that popular, you know? Are my lasers even reaching that? Come on. There we go. Right. After destroying all humans in the system, you come back to your destroyer for a little rest. Yep, again. Okay. Is it, is it just going to continue like this forever? You must clean sector... I'm not going to even attempt that. This sector contains a large amount of hijike. We're going to need all the hijike in we can find for our next trip to the Quasiband system. Somebody just smashed their face on the keyboard, didn't they? Our radar... Radar? Oh dear. You're dead, mister. This guy actively... Wants us dead. This is disgraceful behaviour. You know? He's like upper management in any local supermarket. He actively wants the people beneath him to die. Right. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, this this guy's firing missiles. He's he's a firing his lasers and his missiles. That uh, that's a bit more of a challenge. So, this is a bit more uh, 
challenging than before, which is nice. You know, they uh, presumably the power ups are the the thing that they're after. You know, the empire. Uh, well, that seems a bit poor. I, I picked up that power up, but because I was running the accelerator, I don't think it uh, healed me. Boo! Game design, boo! And I'm gonna die soon. Oh, Gotta avoid those homing ones. Yeah, no. Right, I'm dead. Okay. A anything? Oh, there we go. The explosion squashed you into millions of small pieces. Zyphood Plasfoc had succeeded in his goal to have you killed, but his task of invading Earth will be much harder since you failed. Uh, we did not get... A, did we get a high score? No, we did not. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's the game. Um, it's okay. You know, considering two people made it, I mean, there's there's an exceedingly retro aesthetic with the sound and the visuals and so on. Um, you know, the the gameplay isn't going to really, you know, blow your mind. But uh, the tongue-in-cheek dialogues were nice. And uh, the, the gradual sort of sloping up of Earth Invasion, you know, it started off very, very simple, very easy. And then gradually got more and more difficult. Uh, yeah, it's it's a limited side-scrolling shooter, but uh, it's not entirely without merit. It wasn't horrific, so uh, well done, guys. It uh, it wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be, and I think that's enough for me. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and all that jazz. <laughs>